This is actually the comparative analysis you've been looking forward to. In today's conversation, I want to compare and contrast Shutterstock, Storyblocks, Envato Elements, and Adobe Stock. Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ever ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to do a comparative analysis of uh, four players when it comes to uh, providing stock images and footage. And we actually use all four of them in the production of our own videos on this channel. So we have a first-hand experience when it comes to those four players. So who are those players? We have Shutterstock, we have Storyblocks, we have Envato Elements, and we have Adobe Stock. I wanna start with uh, Shutterstock. First, so this is the review part, okay? I'm gonna have uh, the overview later on. I will have the decision part. I'll have uh, our selection, okay? But this is the review part, Shutterstock. So Shutterstock, basically, when you think about Shutterstock, you have a uh, impressive quality really so if you want high quality stock images videos or editorial photos this is the, the place to go you have more than 400 million images think about that you are thinking about great quality great variety you have excellent image quality and variety you have integrations with the multiple platforms so those are the pros for shutterstock in terms of uh, cons we have seen that they have a misleading free trial program in place okay and uh, they are kind of inflexible when you're looking for on-demand options okay and because you got to understand packs are sold separately for every type of content so shutterstock is really for individuals okay it's also great for medium to large businesses and this is best for several enhanced licenses so when you think about it you have 350 to 750 images per month Okay, so this is really uh, this is really great. If you have a project going on, this is kind of cool for you. So how does Shutterstock really work? Well, so the thing here is that you have to uh, go to the website. They, they ask you to uh, start a 30-day free trial, but, but a credit card is required. Okay, you need, you sign up and you start running through the website. You will you have access to uh, photos, videos, uh, vectors, and whatnot. Okay, so you have different plans. Depending on the plan you choose, you might be limited to a certain uh, number of uh, photos, videos, and uh, other illustrations. Okay, so Shutterstock has a free trial. Yes, they have a free trial. Uh, th th it, it lasts for 30 days. Okay, and you can download 10 stock images. The whole thing is that the trial period is non bonding and you will not be charged until two days before the trial expires. But if you don't cancel within the specified period, you'll be charged a monthly fee. So this is really important. This is what I was talking to you earlier about. I was saying they have uh, some kind of uh, non-transparent pricing. This is what it is, okay? And uh, But one thing you want to, uh, so you have a lot of licensing, a lot of licenses available. You have the standard Shutterstock license. You have the enhanced license, the editorial license, and the premiere license. It really depends on what you need the license for, okay? And uh, it's totally up to you to choose the right license, again, depending on the on the project you are working on right now, okay? And but Shutterstock licenses must not be used for logos, trademarks, sensitive materials, or a reselling with no significant modification, okay? So those are things you need to be aware of. And uh, basically, but yeah, you can call them up. Shutterstock, they're available 24 seven. They will get back to you. So my pro tips here is that you want to choose the right project for your Shutterstock uh, uh, license. You want to ask if uh, you need photos or videos. You want to be very specific and please make sure that you cancel two days before your free trial period ends. Let me talk to you about Storyblocks. So when you think about Storyblocks, Obviously, they don't have 400 million images. That's that's for that's for sure. But if you're looking for high quality videos, this is the place to be. 
I'm telling you, we are currently using Story Blocks in our own productions, and this is a great platform. Okay, and in for us, this is uh, if you're looking for footage, music, audio templates, this is the place to go. They have images too, though. Don't get me wrong, but if you're looking for images only, Shutterstock or another player may be best for you because uh, the uh, the the images on uh, Story Blocks are kind of limited, and the quality is not really that high. It's not really really high. I'm talking about resolution here, okay? And but Storyblocks does not have a free trial, but it has a free account. So it allows you to browse and save videos in collections without buying a subscription. So they, this gives you valuable insight into what you can get once you actually uh, get on the subscription plan, okay? So this is what it is. And one thing we have seen is that many popular YouTubers use Storyblocks actually. Yeah. So when you think about Storyblocks, I want you to think about unlimited downloads, large collection of stock footage with unlimited downloads, okay, it's important. You have a royalty free license for all content. This is really good. And so the bottom line is that, that website offers, uh, they, ha they, they even offer uh, special effects. They have audio, they have template, they have footage, okay. And it is an excellent source for beginners that are starting their YouTube videos, their YouTube video careers, for example, okay. And uh, but not just the YouTube, you can use the uh, Storyblocks for a lot of things. Whether you're doing something on your own, a video production on your own, um, you you need special effects, you need all all kinds of stuff. But yeah, in terms of pricing, I want you to see on the screen right now. Here is the pricing, and what we love about Storyblocks is that they actually offer unlimited downloads this is kind of cool this is really good okay if you go to another player let's say artless for example they limit your uh, how many um, how many uh, elements you can download on a, on, a, on a daily basis but storyblocks does not have that so this is really good you have a uh, royalty free licensing you have live customer support and you can cancel anytime so they don't play games the, they don't play uh, pricing games as a uh, shot of stock not at all you can cancel anytime not a problem okay and what we love also is that you can get unlimited all access plan which is what we have for thirty dollars a month okay i'm talking about hd and 4k footage after effects templates you have music and sound effects you have photos vectors and illustrations fantastic okay and so they have different uh, sort of uh, pricing uh, plans also you can go to the unlimited all access plan or you can go to the enterprise pricing okay in terms of enterprise you have a video only planes you have audio only planes okay so it really depends on what you're looking for and you can get the story blocks license you can get individual individual license or business license it's totally up to you okay and one thing i also want to say here is that they have a maker review they have a story blocks maker which is really great maker is basically a video editing tool developed by story blocks it lets you create pro videos within minutes even if you have no video making experience so this is really fantastic you might want to give it a try if you are interested in story blocks so the bottom line is when we talk about story blocks we are essentially talking about videos they offer all kinds of uh, elements also including pictures but their main forte their forte is videos Let me talk to you now about Envato Elements, okay? And one thing I want to say here is that Envato Elements is kind of cool, and uh, they actually, we love the diversity, okay? So when you talk about Envato Elements, you have access to over five to 10 million digital assets for unlimited downloads, okay? And you only need one monthly subscription. I'm talking about video files, audio files, WordPress themes, web templates, graphical templates and other assets okay so Envato elements what they have what they're bringing to the table is things like wordpress themes that you don't see elsewhere web templates you don't see you don't see elsewhere graphical templates you don't see elsewhere elsewhere they have an affordable monthly uh, and annual pricing in place they cover all facets of digital assets including videos audio photos code fonts and more you have unlimited downloads and access with any paid subscription. You can browse the entire Envato Elements library before paying. You have thousands of new assets added each week. They have an easy to understand commercial license. Okay. They have an existing uh, licensing that allows you to continue after your account is, is canceled. And they have 12 free digital assets per month for free users. And uh, one thing we don't like, well, things we don't like about Envato is that you 
they don't include all the digital assets for from Envato Marketplace, okay? Because this is Envato Elements, not Envato Marketplace. And digital assets need to be relicensed for every use. The quality is hit or miss. You, they have tons of great assets. Don't get me wrong, but they also have a lot of good quality, a lot, lot of low quality stuff. Okay, and there's no tech support or asset update notifications. Okay, so overall, if you were to ask us, it, it's a great value for the money. It is affordably priced and easy to cancel. Plus, the commercial licensing terms are reasonable. Okay, so. When you think about Envato Elements, I want you to think about a monthly subscription for the popular Envato market. So if you are unfamiliar with the Envato market, it is a series of well-known digital marketplaces all operating under the same parent company, Theme Forest, Code Canyon, Audio Jungle, Video Hive, Graphic River, Photo Dune, and 3D Ocean. Okay, And uh, so an Envato subscription is, is for... Uh, a variety of entrepreneurs, a variety of teams. It can go from web designers to uh, YouTube makers to audio production specialists. Okay, and in terms of pricing, you can see on the screen here how much does it cost. It really depends. It goes from uh, fifteen dollars to thirty-three dollars a month or thirty-five dollars a month. Okay, so you can see on the screen it really depends on you. And there are different plans though. There are different uh, tiers. Okay, but you also have discounted a discounted student plan available. So if you are a student, you'll be able to score a discounted, uh, discounted subscription plan to Envato Elements. We're looking at 30% more, 30 or more in terms of discounts. Okay, so this is really cool. In addition to uh, what I told you about the 12 free digital files each month, you have 250, more than 250,000 stock videos and video templates from Video Hive. You have a 700,000 royalty free music and sound effects from Audio Jungle. You have uh, 325,000 royalty-free graphics and design templates from Graphic River, okay? You have actually uh, 50, more than 55 million royalty-free stock images from Photodune in 2020. You have uh, more than 5,000 WordPress themes, plugins, and template kits from Code Canyon. So you do have a variety of uh, assets. Let me talk to you now about Adobe Stock. So when we talk about Adobe Stock, I want you to really uh, think about a large platform, okay? So you're talking about nearly 300 million stock images. I'm talking about photos, illustrations, and vectors at affordable prices with royalty-free licenses. And the free integration with Creative Cloud and affordable subscriptions make it the best choice for graphic designers looking for an all-in-one solution. So if you're a graphic designer or you work with graphic designers, you might want to think about Adobe Stock, okay? What are the pros here? You have uh, more than, you have close to 300 million images so we're talking about great variety in terms of uh, quality, okay? Since most photographers use Adobe products, many of them also share the photos, okay? You have creative cloud integration. So you're able to browse the Adobe stock library in Adobe apps, okay? You have the largest free trial among all agencies and you have a collection of 1 million free assets. What about the, the cons here? You have expensive premium images because see on Adobe, you on Adobe, uh, stock you have a uh, standard and premium images and premium images cost signif significantly more than standard images and they can only be purchased with credit starting at $96 this is kind of high and they don't have uh, an audio selection okay I mean Adobe stock offers 60,000 audio clips which is a lot but really it can be difficult to find specific sounds chords or sound effects and uh, the, the extended license is available only on demand, meaning that you don't get any discounts on bulk purchases. So Adobe Stock is really great for creatives who use Adobe's Creative Cloud because they can browse the Adobe Stock library in apps like Photoshop, Illustrator, and Premiere. Okay, so if you really think about it, graphic designers, artists, video, uh, videographers, and if you have if you have other creatives, they will basically benefit from this integration a lot. OK, and if you are in videography, this is really cool for you, because especially if you are if you are on a tight budget, this could be good for you. All right. So if, when you think about it, Adobe, uh, Adobe was really created more than 40 years ago. So this is a big company. OK, they do a lot of stuff. They do. Uh, in addition to uh, stock photo services, Adobe also offers image and video editing software a portfolio builder, illustration programs, 
and more and it's uh, they have a suite called creative cloud okay so this is a big company this is a biggie and you have uh, so the type of content that you see on on uh, adobe stock you have uh, images nearly at 275 million we're talking about photos illustrations and vectors you have videos audios templates 3d fonts okay and adobe uh, adobe also offers over 1 million free resources including images videos templates and 3d okay in terms of pricing as you can see on the screen here is uh, their pricing you can see uh, the different pricing tiers okay and uh, one thing i want to say here is that in terms of licenses you can see on the on the screen right now uh, what kind of license they have they have a standard license enhanced license and extended license okay and uh, they also have a free trial yes they have a 30-day free trial and uh during which you can get 10 25 or 40 free assets this is totally cool they have free images they have image download capabilities and uh, so overall this is a great uh great platform i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. We are still reviewing. We're still doing a, a comparison of four players. We have a Shutterstock, Storyblocks, Envato Elements, and we have Adobe Stock. And before I actually uh, give you our decision, let me give you an overview here. So when we talk about choosing the right platform for your uh, digital asset needs, you need to do a couple of things. First of all, I want you to evaluate your need. Boss, I'm talking to you about evaluating your need for stock footage and this is this should be uh, it, it really should be woven into your uh, your graphic design process your video planning process your uh, your uh, your uh, photo project okay what are your needs talk to me about that you got to have a clear idea of what you need and because that's going to lead you to a specific platform for example if you're looking for wordpress templates you're not going to shorter stock or story blocks you know where to go you need to choose the right stock footage website okay and again once you identify your needs you will know exactly hey i think my needs can be actually uh, fulfilled through this website it's really important not to waste waste time actually uh, on um to waste time on choosing the best platform for you because uh you and, and the thing is that you always want to choose a website that offers a 30-day free trial so you have a time you have time to actually test the product before buying it okay and you want to remain consistent it's important to remain consistent because you, you you the thing here is that once you are engaged in a project you don't want to change you don't want to change between multiple platforms having going from lower quality footage to higher quality footage no you want to be consistent and you want to turn stock video footage into something original Okay, the thing here is that the beauty of a stock footage is its ability to be altered or edited to fit all different types of project. Okay, so you go from a digital asset that is something that's standard and you turn it into something great for your project. Okay, and you can shoot your own video or you can take your own pictures when needed also. Okay, whenever you can, you can do that as well. What I'm trying to say here is that stock footage comes in many forms and styles. Although many businesses have successfully leveraged stock footage to create entire business videos or photos for that matter, incorporating your own footage and branding is ultimately what helps you stand out from the crowd, right? So you, you want to think about that in terms of your long-term strategy. It's really important to understand what really works for you, okay? So now let's talk about our decision so how do you decide between shorter stock story blocks and vital elements and adobe stock i want to give you a few pointers i want to ask you a few questions what is your current project boss what are you working on talk to me about what you're working on it's important to have a clear idea of what you're working on so you have a you, you know exactly what kind of needs you have okay it's important what is your pricing what is your budget? In other words, how high can you go in terms of pricing? I'm talking about on a monthly basis. Talk to me about that. Talk to me about uh, 
what is the leeway you have? What is uh, do you have room for for an increase? For are you flexible? What kind of licensing do you need? It's important you have to understand that we have a enterprise licensing, you have individual licensing, you have small business licensing. Depending on the licenses you need, you would you'll need to go for a specific type of player, okay? Because again, it's all about the project you're working for. Are you working for? Are you are you working on a big commercial project? Are you working on a simple uh, individual project? Are you working for your, your your YouTube channel? Whatever it is, okay? And uh, how many stock footage, uh, stock uh, footage, videos and images do you need every month? Because there are some restrictions. For example, when you go to uh, when you go to Shutterstock, you have a certain limit. You can't go, ever, you can't go above every month. Storyblocks doesn't have any limits, okay? But you gotta you gotta have a clear idea of your needs on a monthly basis because things run on a monthly basis here, okay? What is your team size? So how many people will be accessing your uh, the platform? So if, whether you go with the Adobe or Envato or Storyblocks or Shutterstock, you need to know how many people uh, will uh, use the, the 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 platform and how many licenses do you need, okay? If you have a if you have a company that charges you on a per license basis, you need to have a clear idea of how many licenses you need. And what is the quality of stock images and footage that you need? Because some people are comfortable with, uh, I would say, average quality. Maybe you, maybe the project you are working on doesn't require high resolution, doesn't require impeccable quality. Okay, so uh, maybe you can go for something lower quality. That's fine. For example, if you're looking for images that are okay, they're not great, but they are okay. You can go for st story blocks. Oh yeah, they have good images too, but not as great as what what you would find on other platforms. Because uh, for story blocks, their forte is in videos. Okay, but they they have okay okay uh, quality. And do you need a free trial? Which you should anyway. So you want to go for a, a player that actually offers free trial. This is important also. And before I actually give you uh, our our decision here, I want to talk to you about alternatives because the thing is that we have four players that are here. That's true, but there are alternatives. If you don't find your luck with Shutterstock, with Storyblocks, or with Envato or Adobe, you can try Getty Images. Oh yeah, in our view, Getty Images is really great for it. Premium images. We're talking about premium quality footage here. You or you have a, a simple user interface here, and they offer both commercial and editorial licenses. That's the cool thing right here. I mean, the only uh, drawback is that a premium purchase rates are kind of high, really, really high. Okay, but Getty has been uh, in the industry for over twenty years. They are really, they're really great. They, they, they are. I mean, a lot of uh, a lot of big institutions use them from National Geographic to Time Magazine to New York Times, okay? You can also try footage.net. This is another great platform. And uh, so if you wanna easily get cheap, high quality videos, uh, we love that on footage.net. The search function is easy to use and you can search for videos based on keywords, okay? The only thing is there is no direct purchase option via footage.net. So something you need to think about. So when you think about footage.net, it is basically an aggregator. So they collect and curate clips from a variety of sources, okay? And we have a Pond5. So Pond5, in our view, is the best budget option. Okay, so they have a vast video library. They have reasonable prices and licenses, and they include royalty-free licensing. The only drawback is that they do not offer any extended licenses, okay? And I want to share with you Pexels. Pexels, in our view, is the best free option here. Okay, uh, the cons, the pros rather, there are, there is no crediting required. You don't have to credit the original creator. The website is easy to use, and you have a good variance, a good constellation of clip categories. Okay, the only drawback in our view is that the footage lacks variety. It's uh, it's not really that diverse, really. And then you also have a uh, iStockPhoto.com. Okay, iStock Photo is actually uh, owned by uh, Getty Images. So iStock is a subsidiary of Getty Images. They have a large range of extended licenses and they offer multiple payment options. So if you really think about Getty Images, you have the premium provider and iStock is like uh, 
the mid-level or the mid-level uh, quality uh, provider. Okay, so if you cannot afford Getty, you can go for iStock. Okay, and uh, the only drawback is, in our view, is that the unlimited plan is a little expensive. Okay, I mean everything with Getty Images is, is really expensive. But hey, listen, if money is not an issue for you, if you have the budget for it, go for it. All right. So after analyzing Shutterstock, Storyblocks, Envato Elements, and Adobe Stock, our choice is Shutterstock. We have actually scored a Shutterstock 9.3 over 10, Storyblocks 8.7 over 10, Envato Elements 8.3 over 10, and Adobe Stock 7.2 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.